Oh, okay. Let's get going, guys. It's your boy Prince Rex here. Now, a friend of mine has asked me, hey, how do I, you know, how do I get into speedrunning portal? Now, it's a lot easier than you think. This is my first ever game speedrunning. Um, I'm doing this glitchless. I'm not the best at glitchless. But there are some things, well, I know a lot of things about glitchless. And I can help you guys through it. So this is, the, by the way, real quick, uh, this is for anybody that's new to speedrunning. People that are slightly experienced might be able to learn a couple of strats from this, and the people that are really experienced, they have no need to watch this, because I don't run glitchless, I don't know any of the advanced strategies, but this is just to ease somebody into speedrunning so that they can learn uh, better stuff, probably from the Google Docs. Um, I run this category called uh, No SLA, which um, basically is inbounds, you can do glitches and all that sort of stuff. Like, I can do this... Whee. And I can do that super fast thing there. And I could do a quantum crash a little bit further on. That probably would have been a little bit better. Um, but there are going to be some bits of terminology that you're going to need um, to learn. Well, when I say it, you're going to want to know what that is. So, you've got... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Um, if you're doing glitchless, you can't do that fast backwards hop. Um, but this is called portal peeking, where you shoot a portal and then walk through it before it's placed. This probably is not the best chamber to do this. Uh, actually, no, it is. Hold up. Ignore all of this. This is just set up. <laughs> I'll teach you all of this, don't worry. Okay, so this is portal peeking. Okay, so what, how you got to realise is the portals move as a projectile. So the second you place a portal, like I click, and it takes a second to <coughs> takes a second to travel the distance. So what you can do, and this is does not count as a glitch. So you can I can place blue through here and then quickly run this way. So that the blue on this side of the portal will place over there, but I'll be on this side by the time it places, which makes it so much easier. And then I can do the same over here. Shoot, walk backwards. There you go. It will make life a lot easier for anybody that's trying. Wow. Um, I'm incredibly rusty. Um, I'm going to admit, it's been, what, like two weeks since I've actually done any running. However, let's start the run. By the way, this is the source unpacked. I have the vault saved, so you don't have to wait in here forever, okay? So, uh, we'll start off on chamber one. Um, I recommend going into your console command and put save 01, okay? So if you ever need to come back to this chamber in particular, all you got to do is, let me just say I come over here and I, I royally fuck up. Most people would just press the vault save and stuff in the beginning. Um, but what you can do is you can boot this up and go load 01. Oh, if I could spell. Load 01. And it'll start you here. It's fantastic for practicing specific maps. Okay, and um, by the way, uh, save 00. That's what I should have said. That's my fault. Um, always save it for the number on here. There are a few exceptions that will be later on, uh, but I'll talk about that. Okay, so obviously the fastest way to do it is bunny hopping, but if you're new to Portal, uh, you probably can't bunny hop, and I don't want glitchless, so I can't bunny hop. Um, there are three main ways to do it. Obviously bunny hopping is the fastest one. Everybody knows, you know, <laughs> in a lot of games, bunny hopping is the best one. you got walking, which is incredibly slow. If you can help it, don't be walking everywhere because walking is like just shit. It's actually much faster if you just jump constantly. Like constantly you just jump. And it will make life so much easier for you. Um one more thing. Um please, 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 for the love of God, make sure you've got your jump bound to your scroll wheel. I've got it set to both ways so that when I'm jumping in a pattern, I'll go up, down, up down up down it makes it so much easier to do anything if you're pressing space you're going to find it a lot harder to get the tick perfect jumps 
Because what scrolling does is scrolling puts in several inputs of jumping at once, so that once you hit the floor, you can jump at the earliest possible time. Now, don't spam it. There's a there's something that happens when you spam it is it'll only take in a bunch of inputs at a time. It won't take in constantly. So you'll find yourself spamming it, and you'll see you'll stop, and that can ruin a bunny hop. Um, so it's just like scroll, 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 scroll. And then you'll end up in here. Okay? It is really, really simple. Um, I forget what I have my triggers set to. Load 0100. Um, let, me just, let me just have a look real quick. See what my triggers are set to. Uh, that one. Okay. Um, that's easy. It makes life easier for me to explain certain stuff to you. So, like, as soon as you get through this door, you'll see there's a big yellow wall here that has trigger on it. If you walk through here, you'll notice door shut. That opens. I'm not sure what this trigger does, uh, but it does something. That trigger. Okay. And then. Okay, so it's a toggle sweep. So this chamber, really, really simple. Grab cube. Put cube on button and go. Now, Glado Shush, one thing that you can do is you can actually grab it and you can throw it. I suck. But if you're able to get that into your muscle memory, uh, throwing it does save a little bit of time. I know a lot of people don't actually do this cube throw because it saves, what, a second? And until you're on like, world record pace, the second doesn't really mean too much. So, yep, yeah, we'll just walk through, plunk on the button. And then we'll hop on through. Um, these elevator steps will like ruin your day. If you land on it awkwardly, you'll find that you'll lose all momentum while jumping like that. So what I recommend is just stop jumping just until you go up the stairs and then finish the jump into the elevator. It makes life so much easier. Um, by the way, I should have all of these stuff uh, time stamped, maybe, if I remember. Okay, so this is chamber one. So you'll go into your developer console and go save O one. Save, and there you go. So whenever you need to come back to this chamber in particular, load O one, and you'll always start off here. Try to do it in the elevator because that kind of sucks. Now what you're going to do for this one is you're going to strafe right a little bit, and then. Drape left, so you'll constantly be holding A while jumping and looking slowly to the right. So I'll press D and look left, and then while I have a forward momentum, I will hold A and jump and look, and you'll find you have a lot of speed. This is a very simple one. This is a just wait at the portal, which is going to vibe, don't mind me. Grab this cube, walk back through it. Put cube on button, back through, and then jump to elevator. Now, one thing I will say, um, because I did this and I reset everyone because of it, um, there's a glitch. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't think it counts like towards the glitch list. So you can, it still counts as a glitchless. But if the cube is on this side of the portal and it disappears, don't panic. Just walk forwards and it will disappear. Let me try that again. I just don't think I was quite quick enough. And um, by the way, oh, okay, I'll go through that in a second. Grab the cube. Yeah, and if for some reason it's over here, just walk forwards, it will reappear, plunk it on the button, walk through, and then hop through. Remember to always be hopping. And one thing I was going to say is if I put the triggers on, this trigger loads that, this trigger does something else, I'm not actually sure what that trigger does. However, you'll see this trigger on this floor, basically the quicker you can get to the floor the better. So I always try to hop and narrowly miss this on my descent. That's the best way 
to get it faster. It's just as simple as that. It is the early rooms, so early rooms, you know, you've got to have a little bit of leeway. Grab cube. Pop cube on button. Oh, I would have made it then as well. Up, up, up. There you go. By the way, I do speedrunning stuff. I'm currently learning Portal 2 on my Twitch. That'll be in the description as well. If anybody fancies hopping down in, you're more than welcome to. Okay, so load O2. Oh, well. Shit. I do this. Uh, load O1. Let me try this again because I'm an idiot. There's, certain, there's some things I would like to explain to you before I do that. You should um, save O2 when you go into there. This is only for the first time. If this is the first time that you've ever done it or you haven't done the saves yet, um, make sure you do them. Because having every single uh, chamber on a save... I was about to do a, a port 2 strat then. Yeah, if you have a save in every single room, um, if someone comes up to you, uh, like a friend, and says, or somebody while you're streaming, um, and says, oh, how do you do 18 skip? Uh, you just type in load 18. Bam, you're there. Easy. Okay, so for this one, if I boot the triggers, you'll see that there's a big box here. You want to get into that box as soon as you can. The second you can, hop out the elevator, be pressing forward on the elevator, and jump through as quick as you can past this line. Now, there's a lot of talking while she's talking about teeth. And you're going to want to jump through this door and strafe to the left. Okay, now ordinarily that won't be up already. So if I load O2. Oh. There you go. You'll right here, you'll strafe to the left, and then you'll hear the portal gun. After a bit of time, you'll be able to time it so that you can bunny hop down and get the portal Very gun. Good. That's safe. Yeah. Hop, hop. Uh, try to only get two hops on there if you can. Now, a lot of people get the portal gun and then strafe to the wall right here. You can do that. Um, what I prefer to do is grab the portal gun and shoot on the floor. Shoot a portal there. Walk around. Um, hang on, let me. I'm not on a time constraint. Anyway, grab portal gun. Thing here. Now, if you have a look here, you will see that there is a trigger. Now, what you have to do to activate this trigger is walk through it on this side. So, if I put a portal here and here. Oh, uh, did I not get? Oh. You'll see that the trigger doesn't actually activate. I could do this one, but that won't do anything. You need to walk through this trigger in order to open the elevator. So, best way to do that, put a portal here, walk through the orange portal, and then walk through the trigger and into the elevator. It gets a little bit more complicated a bit later on, trust me. <laughs> I need someone glitchless. I actually do enjoy glitchless. Okay, so this is chamber three. So you go save O three, and then hop, hop. Once you've hopped through, you want to place blue here as soon as you can. Um, yeah. Uh, by the way, make sure you've got quick save bound to a key that easy to hit. I am, you'll see whenever I'm running, I'm like constantly saving. It saves a lot of time. So as you can see, the trigger's here. So what you want to do is you want to pass that trigger and place a portal here as soon as you can. Uh, best way to do that is like in the other chamber, you'll strafe to the left one and then you'll turn and strafe to the right and place a portal. But you'll see me do it here. Well, I'll walk to the wall. God, I 
don't do glitchless. <laughs> there, place the portal. So you'll see that this portal is closed. Like that. You'll see that the portal's closed. And as soon as you walk through the trigger, one second later, the portal opens. So, what we do is we place that and line up against the portal facing the O3 sign a little bit more straight up. Now, literally, all you do, piece of piss, you press A, place the portal. I need to get rid of the triggers. Place the portal, uh, preferably towards the ground if you can. Um, if it's up here, it doesn't matter too much. And then you press D and walk through that portal that you've just placed. Now, you've travelled that long ass distance in a few seconds. I need to. I think it saves when the triggers are on. So, there, bound. Place portal there, look straight. There, shoot. There, 180. I loved that chamber when I first started because it made me feel cool. <laughs> Just go bam, bam, bam. And it's so easy. And you can do it incredibly quick. Right, you're golden. Okay. This is chamber four. There's a couple of strategies to this. Um, I think. Let me have a look at the triggers. Yes. Yeah, so this trigger here. Yeah, that, this trigger here is the one that releases the cube. You want to be quick when going past that trigger. Where's my save? Um, by the way, uh, make sure that at the start, uh, you can actually. This is one of the few that you can actually press new game chamber four. But make sure. You save O4. Okay. Now, as you saw, the line is here. So you're going to want to be quick. Orange portal spawns. So, how I've seen a lot of people do it is there, shoot, and if you're quick enough, you can actually grab. Ah. I have not practiced this. That was a decent spot. Okay. If you're not quick enough, like me, you can place the portal here, jump down, place the portal there, and it, it could be literally that simple. Now how it's going to work is it's going to work basically kind of like a portal peek. So you'll place blue here, you'll walk through this portal, place blue in that corner, and if it's bounced off anywhere, you can just grab it. But if it's here, that's perfect because you could just grab and come just jump through the portal. As long as you've pressed E on it and you've grabbed it, it might get a little bit fucky wucky sometimes, but you will still be holding on to it. Okay? Um, if it didn't land there, let's say. Let me do this. Let's say that you managed to get quite lucky and it landed there. You can actually jump through and place it through, like uh, directly underneath the cube. And you can use your momentum to fall through and instantly place it on the button. It's it's a very cool chamber. I like this one. This chamber is equally as cool in uh, in inbounds no SLA. Once you've got the button in whichever means that you prefer, um, you place the portal next to the door, walk through the orange. And then make sure you, you're constantly hopping. Now, again, my B-hops, bad. My B-hops, really bad. I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to be spending most of the time just jumping. <laughs> okay, so this is chamber five. This chamber looks quite daunting to the people that just died. And I understand why. Um, but in reality, it is a lot easier than a lot of people think. First things first, we're going to save 05, if I could spell, save 05, and then you hop out here, and as you can see, there's this trigger box here. You have to walk through that. Um, if you walk too far to the side, you will just miss it. You kind of have to, you see up there, the orange portal's down there. However, if you walk through the trigger, the orange portal will spawn. So. Where's my save? Yeah, okay. So, if we're hopping out here, we need to place a portal there. 
but obviously remember don't go too far to the right it won't work uh, you have to go towards the left and then that nah, left side of the portal and then move towards the middle trust me you've got loads of time so bunny hop around and then how I do this is I put a portal on the left side obviously you can't shoot through portals but you can walk through place a portal on the left side of the cube behind it turn around and pick it up that was a portal boost that happens sometimes now two ways to do this you can either you know hop on down and do it like this which is I'm not gonna lie it's slow it's really slow I know a lot of people uh, that would prefer to do that over <laughs> what I'm about to do because they don't know the trick. There is a really, really simple trick. Follow this one easy trick to make your speedruns ten times better. <laughs> but you'll, again, place it to the left side of the cube, pick it up, remember to save because if you mess this up, you're going to want to just reset it. So let's say I'm still like, oh no! Oh, I can't even mess up. That makes me sound really egotistical. I didn't mean that. But let's say, uh, <clears throat> oh no, I uh, I accidentally missed. Whatever shall I do? Uh, you then press the load button, and boom, you've still got the cube in hand and everything. So the easy way, it's like it's like a dancer trying to not have rhythm. It's difficult to mess up when you know what, how to do it. So you'll look straight ahead. Okay, there's not going to be any fancy flings or any, anything like that. See, both of them missed. It's literally you're just going to look straight ahead and walk to this corner. Just straight line, straight to the corner. But stop before you go off the edge. Like that. Idiot, Bruntus. <laughs> but stop before you get to the edge. And you're not going to left click, left click to throw. Um, it literally, you're just going to press E and drop. Okay? So walk to the edge, drop you'll find that it will land on the button like every time. Next, the other cubes over here. You'll place a portal under there. This is going to happen and it sucks when that happens. Um, but you'll place, place blue there so that it comes to the orange portal. You place it behind you. Grab it and then it's the exact same on this side. Probably best to put the, put the cube down so that it's flat down. Walk forward, press E. Nailed it. Now, a lot of people ordinarily in this situation will, would go, oh, okay, and we'll hop over to the door. That can lose you a couple of seconds. What you can do is portal through the door, walk through this portal. That will make life a lot easier for you. Now, this is the section where you've got loads of time. You don't have to rush into the elevator until we will stop enhancing the truth. Then hop into the elevator because it won't go until the thing at the end of the countdown. So what I like to do, and yes, I'm going to show you, because it's the best thing to do. Get this radio. This is uh, required. Put a portal here and just try and get it onto the camera. Like that. If you can get camera on there, awesome. If camera doesn't go on there, put it through the fizzler because it deserves death. Okay? The best thing to do. There's a meme in my uh, Twitch chat that whenever I miss it, I go, Okay, radio, so you've chosen death. <laughs> okay, so this is Chamber 6. Uh, I had somebody specifically ask for this one. Um, it's really, really easy. <laughs> it's If you know what you're doing, please piss, honestly. You can't really mess it up. There's two ways to do it. So remember, save 06. And then you'll, you'll bunny hop across. Boing, 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 boing. And then you'll place blue on the top here, about as straight as you can. The straighter, the better. And then, you step to this side of the orange portal, you wait for that to come through. Hold W, crouch. It's as simple as that. You don't have to actually do the full puzzle or anything like that. You can just do that. Now, another thing that people do, including myself, is jump if you jump press crouch and strafe it's been a, it's been a while since I've done it this way and strafe you can actually make it a lot faster so if I go load 16 no why not put load 16 load load 06 <laughs> come on so 
you hop through here as quick as you can. Place blue in a straight line up there. Jump. Oh, I didn't press crouch. It's been a while. I'm very rusty. Crouch. And you will land on here. If you can't do that, it's really, really simple. You just walk through, hold crouch, uh, about the times where I actually said them, and you will land on the platform. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You should not be in chamber six for very long whatsoever. Okay. Then, oh, it stops. Save 07. This chamber is going to be your first tricky chamber. Which, I'm not going to lie, it kind of sucks to start. Once you've got the hang of it, it can be, it's quite easy, but it sucks to start. So you'll look straight up on the ceiling. So very similar to the one that we just did. You're going to place blue there. Now if we have a look down here, you've got the unportable surface. Portable surface just before it, just like the last chamber. Okay. Load 07. You know what to do? Place blue there, and then this is the jump. You will walk through here. Orange will open. What you're going to do is you're going to jump through this orange portal and come out of the blue portal. You're going to come through with them once more to gain momentum. However, as you're falling, you're going to make a shot up here, probably here actually, um, and with the momentum you're going to fling up and over to the elevator. I spent a few hours practicing this one and I could not get it right. Let me just straighten this out. Um, so I've got visual cues coming out of my ass. So this bottom step is the best time for you to jump. You can't just jump from the bottom step. Uh, you won't have the correct momentum. So start from the top, you'll walk down and you'll jump through the bottom step and hold crouch. Remember to be holding crouch while you are falling. Because I didn't and I missed it because of it. So you walk down and on the bottom step, jump crouch and as you'll see I will go through the portals twice. It's really, 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 really easy once you get the hang of it. Um, however, sometimes you might jump too early and then hit that and you'll be like, well, shit. Uh, you won't have the correct momentum to make it if you do that. Uh, sometimes if you do it off the step, it will work as well for some reason. No, um, but try to do it on this bottom step. Don't jump too early on the second step. Don't jump too late on the floor. Okay. Now, once you are through the portal, you're going to want to shoot about here, which is over here. If you shoot too high, because, uh, okay, let me explain some just basic physics. So if you are if you have upwards momentum, you're coming out of a portal, you're going to go in an arc. Now, at the top of that is the apex of the arc. You don't want that to be on the ceiling. You want it to be as close to the ceiling as you can get, but you don't want it to hit the ceiling, because what it will actually do is it will cut your momentum short and you'll fall down a lot earlier. So if I jump through here and I place it here, my head will hit the ceiling and I won't make it. I will face plant this wall and I will hate my life for the next few years. Um, so what we have to do... Um, what we have to do is we have to aim it a little bit lower. So there is pretty perfect. So we apex up in an arc but not hit the ceiling and we make it across. So let me show you what this looks like because I've been talking about it. So we're gonna go there, crouch, like that. Now, do you see why I was explaining it before I did it? Because anybody new that saw that would be like, what the fuck did you just do, you fucking wizard? But it's literally, you jump through here and you aim up there. Now as you'll see, as I fall through here, if I'm aiming up here, it's at the perfect place to place that portal. Now obviously that's too high, so you can adjust it for however you want. 
but that's where you, you're going to aim, and that's where you're going to put your mouse. So it's going to be jump, aim up here, and crouch. Oh, I did it a bit too late there. Jump, aim up here. God, I'm sucking at this. But this is showing you like, the positions of the portals. I, I'm failing, by the way, because the portal's a projectile, and I'm going back through this portal before it's landing. Uh, jump. Whee! See? That was a little bit too low there. Faith planted this. I hate my life. I kind of think I've got enough momentum. There you go. Jump, crouch, portal, up and over. It's going to take you a few tries. And I'm sorry, but that's just how some of these are going to have to be. <laughs> Once you've got it, you'll be fine. But that was a run killer for me for a while. But now I can get it quite consistently. Mm-hmm. Sip. Okay, this is chamber eight. This will either be your favourite chamber or your most hated chamber. Um there's <laughs> sadly there's no two options about it. Now this trigger panel here will open up the orange portal there. So if I walk through and place blue, you'll find it shut and then it opens, okay? Unfortunately, when you do that, it also triggers this orb, so you have to be quick. And um, by the way, remember, save 08. So you'll, you'll bunny hop here. Okay, so there are a few ways to do this. Um, I know a lot of people that like to do this and jump across. Uh, I don't like doing that because there's a risk that you could, you know, mess it up. So you could put this portal here, walk to the end. And that's how you can get to this platform. Um, or you can look into the future. Now, I'm going to show you the easy way to do this chamber. And then I'm going to show you a harder way to do this chamber. So the easy way is you'll place the portal around this corner. You'll move forwards so that the orb doesn't hit you. Okay. You'll place blue up in that top left hand corner, and if you have a look here, you'll see this little thing that's sticking out. Okay, I've got to move because of the orb. There's a little platform there that's sticking out. This is a pain in the penis to, to get used to. This still kills some of my runs nowadays. Okay, so you'll walk through. Remember to walk through after. Okay, uh, you'll walk through and you'll jump. That's what I was supposed to say. Walk through, jump. Remember to jump after the portal, otherwise you risk hitting your head on the portal and it sucks. Okay. So you're going to walk through and jump and you'll find that you can end up on that ledge. Now remember, if you're using scroll wheel, you can jump twice. And as you can see, I got a lot of uh, momentum there. So what you have to do is, let me just see if I can get onto it. There we go. So you'll jump, and then you'll jump again instantly. By the way, I am holding crouch. So I, when I'm going through that portal, I jump, crouch, and come on to here. Now, obviously I'm not going to be able to make it now, because <laughs> I don't have the momentum. But you're going to want to land on here, instantly jump, and pass this corner and strafe round. Tips that I have, if you press uh, A, because A is uh, that way, I'm trying to think about it for you guys. If you hold A and look there too early, you will hit the edge, keep your forward momentum and fall into this lovely, lovely goo. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump past, wait until you've passed this corner and then strafe around to the side. Okay. So, uh, jump, jump. See, I didn't start turning until it was really late, yet I still made it comfortably, okay? It's going to take you a couple of uh, couple of practices. I still mess it up to this day, as you can see. Um, I hate jumps because I really, really suck at uh, strafing. Which goes to show you don't need strafing, but it's useful for glitchless. Um, now I'm going to show you the quick way. So once you've got that nailed, and you want it to be a little bit faster. 
Damn it, I ain't passed it. Uh, load 08. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is place a portal up there. No, you're not going to want to place a portal up there. Ignore that. Ignore everything that I just said. What you're going to do is you're going to walk around this corner. You're going to place this blue. I can't pass it because it's a trigger. But the blue on the wall just around here. Oh, I'll see. You're going to place blue here, pretty much. And then put your back towards it. So let's try that again. Blue, back towards it, okay? While your back is towards the blue, try to be on the right side if you can. You want to aim up here, and as soon as it opens, shoot a portal and walk backwards. Now your portal will peek through it. That's one way to get over to here. And then you can walk forwards and make the jump. It's going to feel really weird to start off with. But that is the fastest way to do this chamber, and you are going to suck to start off with. Oh, has that glitch happened? Okay. You're going, you're going to suck, but it's practice. This chamber is just all practice. Even on Nosler, there's a way to do it where you just jump over this goo really fast, and I don't do that. I can't do that. That's that's crazy. However, if I practiced enough. I might be able to do it. I know someone that couldn't do it, and now they can. But just practice, just go through everything that I said. Remember to jump late through the portal um, so that you don't hit your head off the portal. Uh, you just go wheel to jump as soon as you get onto that side block and wait a second before strafing around that corner, otherwise, you'll keep your forwards momentum. This is chamber nine. Now, I actually didn't know how to do this chamber glitchless until I researched it last night. Because how we do chamber nine in Nosla is we place a portal here we place a portal there and then just hop through both sides that's how we do it you can't do that if you're doing glaceless um, if you wanted to do a Nosla tutorial by the way you are more than welcome just let me know in the comments and I will do a Nosla tutorial I am much much more clued up on Nosla and I have a million more varieties and I can go much further in depth um, Load 09. Okay, yeah, remember to save 09 for this. So I literally, I found this out uh, yesterday. Um, I think... Okay, yeah, so the, the trigger is here. Make no attempt to solve it. Right, as soon as you walk in. There. So you're going to want to walk past that trigger as soon as you can. Place a portal under that cube. Place a portal on this wall here. Walk through. Okay? Place a portal there's probably the best. Walk through. Place on the button. And hop through. I know that there are different ways to do it. Right, I think someone comes here first. Which is, yeah, that's pretty good. And they put it on the back wall because they they'll jump through and they'll throw it and they'll go in. That was a nice throw. I was happy with that. Um, but I'm useless with throws, so I always put it on the on that wall to save uh, save me time putting it on the button. Um, but if you are confident with your throws, by all means put it on the back wall so that you could just jump through, throw it, and go in. Okay. Uh, and that's the chamber. Really, really, really easy. You remain resolute oh. and resourceful in an atmosphere. One thing you'll have to wait for this, uh, you'll have to wait for the elevator to open. Actually, this is like a long ass tutorial. We're 40 minutes in. I'm only on chamber 9, not even halfway through the game. But once you've practiced this, it will just become memory. And it will take you like 20 minutes to run through. And you'll feel really, really good about that 20 minute goal. Okay, um. I, I, I know this one. This is chamber 10. By the way, uh, save 10. Make sure you do that. And make sure you do it in the elevator. Did I scuff it? Uh, this is one of those chambers that if you do forget to do it, you can just load it in here. Uh, open up your command. Save 10. 
Well, there we go. So, you trigger for this. That one doesn't care. That one doesn't care. And then that, that, that one there is the one that opens the portal. So. Load 10. <laughs> Save. So you just want to bunny hop straight through all of them as, as quick as you can. And that portal opens. You're going to want to put blue on the side and barely walk through it. So that you can shoot through. Um, you know if you haven't made it, if you the screen gets super super wibbly like that because that means you're shooting into a portal but you can walk through so you can see the orange on the other side and remember what I was saying about the portal being a projectile so if I shoot it takes a second for you to see the you know the things we're failing the particle effects so you're gonna want to aim because all of this is a non portable surface but if you look down you'll see it as a wide white area here you're going to want to aim towards the top of that, as close to, to the top as you can. Make sure to save, because you're probably going to mess it up. Now, you're going to want to portal... Uh, I, I, I call it portal, but there's a different way to do it. But like, basically, if you put portal here, and you press back, like it will it will try to push you out, like that. However, if you counter out that movement by walking towards it, you can actually stay here on the edge. Now, issue is, with this being a projectile, you have to time it. So if I shoot, and I press back to counter the movement of it pushing me out, uh, as you'll see, the blue port will disappear. Blue port's over there. You're now stuck here. Hooray! So you're going to want to just edge through, shoot S, and as you can see, I am still here. The port's moved over there, and you can just... Up through. Simple as that. Um, be careful not to fall back through the portal. It does happen. Trust me. Um, this one is a look trigger. The look trigger will depend on how quick you can do this chamber. As soon as you walk through this door, look up. Open that. And jump down here. That's pretty much it. That's all you need to do for this chamber. It's super easy. Place portal at the top. And you'll see, you'll notice that I'm not holding anything. I'm just walking forwards into there. Simple as that. Um, that right there, that is a out of bounds shot that you can do. Um, I don't do out of bounds, and if you do go slightly out of bounds there, it's okay because you're not abusing going out of bounds. It's just part of the map that you can't really help. Okay. Now, worst case scenario you land on this platform because if you land on this platform that moves and you do not want this to move because that slows everything down but if you do land on here uh, where's the trigger actually? how did he do it if it's there? if you do do that just try to load your save if you don't have a save you'll just have to you just have to do this See, see how long it is. It, it sucks. You don't want to do that. So anyway, you walk through that portal. I'm flying out here. Walk into the chamber, into the elevator. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. The strategy I do, I basically just jump over everything. But that's a glitched version. I like the little glitches. The little glitches are kind of cool. This one is incredibly time sensitive. Okay, so as soon as you load in, load, I mean save, 11. Okay, because you've got to be quick with this one. Okay, so you'll jump and you put a portal to this side. Okay, next up, what you'll do is you'll put a portal up in that corner next to the door. Now you'll see this portal's gone because that portal is working its way around and shooting it everywhere so you've got to kind of be, be really quick shoot a portal shoot a portal and turn around if you're not quick enough the portal will disappear now I I prefer doing that um, but that can be a little bit harder for new people and um, if you do fancy doing that um, I'll I'll show you how to do that now so you can actually 
jump to here, press crouch, look down, and then if you press shoot and uncrouch at the same time, you'll just pop out. That was a bit weird. But you'll just pop out the other side. Oh, I didn't quite do it there. But I'll jump and I'll hold crouch, look at the floor, and when I shoot and let go, I should just hop straight through. Sometimes it doesn't happen. But shoot up there, turn around, and then you've got to jump and strafe to the left slightly. And then you've made it onto this section. Whee! Really, really simple. Now, once you've got this, a lot of people panic. Uh, I've, I've seen people press this button, shoot up there, and then try to swim over. And you can die doing that. And dying is is not good. Okay? So what you can do is you can press this button, shoot here, and then oh, that, that wall's just closer. You could just go to that one. It makes it so much easier, and if you fall in, you're that much closer to the wall. Okay, one more thing. So if I load 11. Let me just do this real quick. One more thing is the button rises from here. So you can actually hop on top of the button, press it, and then you can make this jump much easier. Now, I know people that will do this jump and jump down, shoot, shoot, and do that. Now, what I just did there is is called basically just maintaining your momentum. So you'll use this button and you'll shoot on the upper sections there and you'll jump down under here. Now, what they're doing here is they are using their momentum. They're going to place a portal here and underneath them so that they basically just fly through. Well, there you go. To keep yourself going quick. If you can't do that, then you don't have to. Um, it's just something to keep uh, keep in mind. And it's just a different way to do things. Um, if you're trying to make anything a little bit faster. This one, oh boy. Uh, this one I actually haven't practiced all that much. All that much whatsoever. So I'm just going to I'm going to see if I can do it. Okay. Oh my God, I can. Okay. So that means it's fine. You don't have to turn on portal for and go shit like that. Okay. So you'll place orange in the top left. Okay. You don't want it down here. You won't make it if it's there. It's got to be top left, top right. Idiot bunters. Okay. And you're going to press jump and A to strafe round. Um, I press W as well, just because, uh, actually no I don't. I might be why I couldn't do it before. And what you're going to have to do is you'll see if I place a portal there, I'll go through the bottom side. You don't want to go through the bottom side. You want to want to place it basically directly underneath you. And what you're doing is creating an arc. Is there Let me just let me just get up here quick, and I can show you. All the rudders. Okay, what you're doing is you're creating an arc. So you're hopping through the top side of the portal with momentum. So you're coming out of here with forwards momentum and giving yourself upwards arc to land onto this section here. That's basically how that works. Um, so you're going to hop and place it a little bit closer towards the ground than you're probably comfor with, comfortable with. We'll just load it here. Um, the easy way to do this by the way, if you're well bad like me, I'll show you that in a moment. There you go. With a little bit of practice, you'll be able to get that easy because I just did it in two seconds. 
Uh, but yes, as I was saying, the uh, easy way, the easy way I do it is I'll place blue here. Uh, did that make sense? <laughs> okay, let me try that again, except uh, a little less complicated. So I'll place orange here, I'll jump down, and you can actually see the platform that you want to shoot through that orange portal. So you place blue, you shoot that platform, and then fall down and shoot the other portal, and that's how you can get up here. So let's load there, up here. I, I had too much momentum, you do not want that. You just want to do that. That should not be up. Load 12. Ah, see, I messed up. I did not. I did not save. And if I didn't save, that means I didn't tell you to save, so you've probably forgotten as well. I tried doing it cool there. I am. Um, I don't do glitches, so I'm messing up left, right, and center. I know how to do it. I'm just not consistent. So this just goes to show that practice makes perfect. You will probably be able to do this much quicker than I can glitchless. Just after a few tries. Boink. Up there. I don't think I did it. I did not. And practice makes perfect. There we go. So now we've got two look triggers. Okay. First one is this one. You gotta look at this and then it'll open. Second one's that one up there to drop the cube. Now there's two ways to do this. You can shoot there, jump down, whee, hit your head on the ceiling, hit your head on the back wall, and to that you got the button. There is another way to do this. Okay. So you'll place blue here. I just moved orange out of the way. And then you can strafe around while holding crouch and place orange underneath you. That will make this a million times easier to get to the button. Because you go straight to the button instead of flying up. I'll do that again just so you can see. So you'll jump off with left with right momentum. And then you'll turn around 180, crouch, and I press D to keep the momentum. So it's like if you're jumping this way and then you suddenly had to turn backwards, you wouldn't and continue it. You wouldn't be holding right. Otherwise uh, you'll you'll mess it up. So you'll do this, and then when you jump, you'll do that and you'll hold you'll switch your arrow keys over your arrow keys, your side keys over from D to A to keep this circle going. That's the best way I can explain it. Okay, so that's how you 180 going forwards to backwards. So you'll jump off here with a, while holding D to get yourself strafing that way. Then you're 180 and you'll switch to holding A midair. Remember to be crouching all the way through. So <laughs> let me not fuck it up though. That's probably a good thing. So you'll jump, hold A, hold D, and then place a portal underneath yourself. So I start off that jump holding D, and then I'm holding A now. It, it's it's strafing. You'll get the hang of it. It's strafing. Um, two ways to do this as well. You can either get really really good at throwing this, um, because you can't super throw. Um, for those of you, if you do this and you go, oh, I found out a glitch. Um, you can't do this. So if you press left click and E, you'll find. Hang on. Let me stand against here. So you've got E, which just drops it. You've got left click, that drops it to about there. Is that my crap range? And then you've got the super throw, which is left click and then press E instantly. And you'll find it goes so much further. Um, you, that's normally the strap for this, to do that super throw. However, we can't do that, because that counts as a glitch. So if you want to make this, you've just got to flick your camera up throw it and try to get to the door as quickly as you can. You can do it, it's incredibly difficult, but 
I know that a fair few people are able to do it. I don't know the lineups because, well, I, do, I don't do it. What I do is I just hop down and do this again. Oh, I messed up. That does happen. Uh, again. There we go. And then I just hop through. So that's Chamber 12. Chamber 12 is um, um, rather easy. But it's one of those chambers that you've got to be practicing in order to uh, in order to get it, if you, if you know what I mean. you got to keep going. This is Chamber 13. This is the chamber a lot of people don't like. I love it. Because it's so easy. It annoys it. It's so easy. So how you do this is you walk through and then people sometimes come up here and then hop down. No, you don't have to. What you have to do is save 13 because I can't remember if I did it or not. Save 13. Um, and then you'll hop to here and then you don't actually have to move any further than this. Okay? Maybe a little bit. You'll place one through the cube, so on the back wall. You'll place one down here, and you literally just pick up the cube. It's as simple as that. Turn around, put the cube on the button, then whatever portal you placed here, you place on that white square. So if I, eh, you see the white square here, on the ceiling. Just place it on the white square, grab this, walk through. That's the first part done in seconds. So if I load 13, and I'm gonna put myself in the toggle crouch state there. So hop, 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 one here, one there, bang, bang, oh, bang, full, done. Easy. Now, there are different ways to do this. I've seen a lot of people do. I've seen people do this, and then jump down onto here, and then hop through the floor or something. That works. Um, I find, uh, it'll help if I remember how to do it. I find that much quicker. Much, much, much quicker. So how I do this is I step onto the button and I have the cube in my hands. Now, you need, you can't super throw. I remember that super throw thing that I said about before? You can't do that. So yeah, I have a certain setup for this. So basically, I do everything on this button. If I walk off this button, I had solid chance I'm falling off. So I'll press W to give myself forward momentum. I will then press jump to give myself vertical momentum. And then I will press shoot to give the box a push, okay? If you walk forwards, jump, and then left click, by the way, shoot is your blue portal. Remember, I was off the button when I started. That's why I. That's why that messed up. So, forwards, jump, shoot, and then I press S to keep myself on this platform, and that is really consistent for me. Like it's super consistent for me. Like if I load 13, you'll see just how consistent it is. So I'll go there, there, grab here, there walk through, step off it, walk onto the button, it just works every time, it's so consistent, and then you shoot through here, walk through that wall, that is quicker than doing that, oh I walked into the orb, plus that has a chance to happen, and then you walk through, and um, that happens sometimes if you mistime it, it can land on the orb and then go all fucky wucky. You don't want that to happen. But you'll get the timing now. So that's that chamber. Done. Dusted. Easy. This chamber is even easier. In my live splits for this, uh, live split is the timing thing that you use. If, if you need anything like that, go to speedone.com. They have everything. I'm going to link a Google Doc in the description, which goes through every single strat that's bloody possible for this game. It's so good. Uh, 
and it's all listed out and it's all labeled with hyperlinks to YouTube videos. It's it's that's how I started. Okay. Um, chamber fourteen. Uh, you don't really care. One thing that you should care about is once you finish chamber thirteen, be pushing against the door because you can walk through the door. You don't have to wait for it to open. You can just jump through while it's shut. And that's not a glitch. That's just it's just part of the game. That door does not have collision physics. Um, now I've I was watching somebody last night and they were doing shit and they were going all up here. You don't you don't even have to even think about going up here. You honestly you do not have to go past this line here. It's such an easy chamber. You put blue here. You put orange up here. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to go through this portal come out the orange and you're going to place the orange underneath you giving you that momentum to go down so once you go through the orange there you'll fling up oh it would what Whee. turn around and you're here um i know that some people uh i think i normally do it like this is my portal falling not working My portal funneling's off. Uh, yeah. Make make sure that's on. That'll help you out a lot. Okay, that explains it. That explains the issues. Okay. And what that does is that pushes you towards the portals, so it decreases your chance to miss them. Okay, so you place one there. Place one anywhere up there. You'll fall through. 180. Land onto this platform. It's really, really easy. <laughs> this chamber on my live space is called What's Chamber 14? Because the amount of time I just go in and I'm done. There is a much faster way, but there's a glitch. So I, I'm not going to be demonstrating that. Okay, boom. Chamber 15. Um, People normally do this and they walk past here and then do this whole loop thing. What if I told you you did not have to walk into this room at all? You don't even have to do uh, anything. You just have to be here. Shoot a portal up there. Shoot a portal on the wall next to you. And then, look, there's the platform. It's bang, bang, done. So you walk through, place one there, place one underneath you, and you've made it. As simple as that. Now, I'm going to show you uh, load 15. If you're quick enough, with this, you can make this on its first cycle. Um, unfortunately, I suck. So that goes through there. Place ball there. Place ball there. I really should just walk through that slowly. Come on, bunters. Okay. So you'll see the black smidge. You're gonna want to place one there, and then where the elevator is. You're going to want to place one directly above it. Okay? Then that will go through. No. As soon as it goes through this portal, you're going to want to place a portal here and here as quickly as you can. Um, so that the orb goes through there, comes out of the orange portal, lands in the trap there. Uh, that will lower down this lift for you. Then there's a pull surface up there. You can just place one there, place one underneath here. Buzzing. We are golden. Okay. Now, this one people have trouble with. Um, I'm going to show you the easy method, and then I'm going to show you the more complicated method. So, you can shoot a portal there, jump around, place a portal up on the sticky out platform, walk up the stairs, uh, jump, place a portal underneath you, place a portal underneath you again. Now, that could be quite tricky and rather inconsistent, but hey, hey it's okay. Now, what I'm, what I do, and what everybody else uh, does with practice, is you'll see. 
Hang on, let me just... You'll see that there's the long corridor and you've got this portable surface on the floor. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a portal as close to the glass as you possibly can. Okay? You're not going to want to do it yet because the portal that's next to the glass is going to be placed there. So, top right corner as far as you can, then orange on the wall anywhere. Now, if you see that portable surface I was just talking about, you're going to want to place blue right at the top there. Okay. As soon as you press left click, um, you're going to start falling. You can actually use that momentum to place orange underneath you, and we, as you can see, we got height. Height is good. Height gives you an advantage. Um, what we can do with that height is we can press. Hang on, let me let me just practice a bit. Let's see what I do from muscle memory. Okay, um, so I don't actually hold W. Um, let me see if it works while holding W. It does. Okay, um, but all you got to do, so you'll place a portal here, place a portal underneath you, and then you'll hold D and strafe around. Okay? So it's basically you're doing this, but in the air. All right. So you'll do there, here, hold D and look to the right. And uh, make sure you are pressing crouch the entire time. Like I press crouch right from the off. And if you time it correctly and you get used to it, you will just hop over the glass. It's really, really, really neat. So you'll place blue, place orange underneath you, hold crouch the entire time. We. I didn't uh, move my cursor quite quick enough, and you'll just hop over. It's very, very good. It's very, very cool. Once you are over, you can place a portal here, place a portal there. Now there are two ways to do this. Um, you could do the way that most other people do, and when you go through here, whatever color is on this side, you're going to want to place it here, and press left to stop yourself. Okay, no, I'm an idiot. Whatever colour is here, you don't want to place here. <laughs> and then you're going to want to press left to counter the portal pushing you out. You don't want that. Then you slide to this side, so you're coming out of that portal. And you're going to want to place, so this is orange, you're going to want to place blue there. Now remember it's a projectile. As soon as it lands, that's when you want to press D to stop yourself from falling out. And then La -di da we hop on out. How I do it, it's just more a matter of personal preference, is I just make it through the pool. I place blue, which is the colour that's on the outside, and I'll walk through. Okay? I will portal peek it. This is called portal peeking. Blue, move back, and then there, blue, move back. I don't know why, but that just feels just much easier for me. Once you get the hang of it, you can do it really, really, really quick. Now, this one, uh, you don't actually have to do any of this. You place a portal at the top, place a portal on the floor. And you basically just do what you did in Chamber 14. This one's a little bit trickier, though, because you don't have all that time in the air. You've just got this little section to be able to line yourself up. Hello? Oh yeah, that's what I did. You only got to have a little bit to line yourself up. Okay. So, blue's here. You're going to fall through the orange portal and place orange here. And then try to turn. Your camera might go a bit fucky sometimes. Uh, that's okay. Just make sure that you've been pressing save. And we start down there. Okay. I understand my explanations are probably getting a little bit worse as time goes on. Okay, I just want to get this all done.
Okay, so this is chamber 16. Um, remember to uh, open here, save 16. This is my favourite chamber to do in glitchless. This chamber is so fun to do in glitchless. Live fire core. Basically, this is the introduction to turrets. Turrets have a pain in the is they are really really annoying. Now, what you're going to want to do is basically edge this corner. You can just knock him over. It's okay. Understandable. A lot of people do it. Place a portal through that little creek. Place a portal on this wall. Okay. Walk through. Uh, I'm going to do this bit a little bit fast because I will die otherwise. But you place blue there. Okay. Turn around and you're going to place orange. Okay. What that's going to do is that's going to make you go, hey, look at me! And if you don't move quickly, you're going to die. And dying is bad. Okay. So I'm going to place orange and I'm going to. Orange, walk through, orange, walk back, and out the way. Okay? That's the best way to do it. Um, I do it a little bit differently. Yeah. Yeah, here, there. Oh, you could do that, actually. That's a good way to do it. There, place orange, look this way. There, place orange, and make sure to walk back through the portal. So as you can see, I'm still in the starting area where I knocked over the first turret. Look. Hello. There's that turret. Okay. Walk through. Place orange on the floor about that position. And then walk through. Now there's two lasers here. This means that we have to be quick. Okay. So, you see... You see that section there. You're going to want to place a portal there. The only issue is, if I walk through here, I get flung up. Being flung up is bad. So, you just have to be fast. Make sure that you save here. And you're going to up and do that. That's the quickest way to do it. Now, he's going to be an idiot and he's going to be flying constantly throughout my entire tutorial thing. So, we'll ignore him. Uh, you're going to walk through here. Place a portal on there and walk backwards. That's the best way to do it. Now, as you can see, we're in the same similar spot as before. Damn it. Okay, so you're going to want to be quick with these portal peaks. So, one there. One there. Let's move that portal out of the way. Good night. Now you don't actually have to kill these toads. These toads are nice. These toads are cool. Kind of. Well, I'll place one up there. Place one here. Now you're gonna have to go a little bit full balls to the wall for this. Okay. You gotta be quick. So if I kill him real fast. Just to make life a little bit easier. Because that way I can walk over to this side and not be worried about getting shot. See there. There's a camera. Camera on the wall. Okay. Uh, and if you see there. Portalable surface. Underneath that one. That's how we're going to deal with these three turrets. Okay. So. Shoot the camera. Shoot under that one. And you will either knock this one over. Yeah, not this one over, or you won't even trigger it. Just stay behind it. Now you've got two choices. You can either place the turret on here, which I don't like because that. I like to stand on here and shoot in this dark area in the wall. Um, I'm fortunate. I'm not too sure how to zoom in. But I'll tell you what. Yeah, I do. Go away. Okay, but in that dark area, 
is going to be here. Okay? It kind of makes sense, you'll see it. But yeah, you can either do this. I was way too quick, uh, but I can't do it slowly because the turrets will kill me. So, you stand on the button, you aim in that dark area, press the portal, doesn't matter which one, and then jump and place another one underneath you. Then you've made it to the elevator. Elevator's there. Yeet. Really, really simple. I really wish I could bunny hop. I'm getting a bit better just because I'd be, bun I'd be bunny hopping in portal 2. Okay. Save 17. Is that hang of it? This is Companion Cube Chan. Companion Cube is obviously best girl. I mean, just look at it. Look at how adorable she is. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. So you're going to want to pick her up. Plunk her here. Now I jump and grab at the same time. Just because that makes sense for me. Up on here. If I don't make it, I can just do that. Okay, and then it's running time. I'm just going to straighten out the cube. Hit. Remember to save. And then walk backwards. And you can actually use the cube to go. Eh. You don't have to stop walking. Yeah, that was just for demonstration purposes. But you can keep running back, and the ball will hit the cube and bounce away. Now, what I do here is I stand here and I fucking yeet it, okay? And I place a pull on that camera. I then jump down here. I press uh, orange portal and immediately press E. If you do that quick enough, uh, you'll grab the camera at a decent spot. I haven't, so I've just had to turn it around. Now, uh, what a lot of people do is they place the camera down first. Damn it. They place the camera down first. And then they place the cube on top of the camera. Uh, I actually hate this. But it is, it is a strategy. Um, if you can't do this, because Lord knows I can't do this, um, I place the cube down first. And then I place the camera. And I hop onto the camera instead of the cube to get up to here. Now, issue is, I need the cube. Ooh, hiccup. So I can see that I placed the blue there. So that means that my orange should be there, just out of sight. So, how do we do this? Well, you just place blue underneath you. And, ooh, look at that. Hey, cube, we need you. Whee! Place cube on button. It's as simple as that. Um, that's why I hate, one of the reasons I don't do glitchless. <laughs> Walk through here, press this button. Whee, whee! Goodbye. <laughs> oh. I uh, I just spanned too fast. Um, make sure to always be jumping. Jump to the uh, elevator. And move on with your life. <sighs> okay. Uh, this one's a uh, chamber. This one's 18. So save 18. Escape. So what you're going to want to do is, as soon as you walk through, you're going to want to place a portal here. Anywhere on there would will do. Place it next to you and walk through it slightly so you can shoot. You'll see this dark triangle up here on the ceiling. You can place any of them. I used blue because my portal here is orange. And then you can just fall down. Um, what a lot of people do while falling down, is they'll shoot one there. Ah. Uh, yeah, they'll sh It's a bit hard though. Uh, 
I can't do it. If you can't do it, it's okay. Don't worry. Just know that you're not alone. Alright, so once you've done that, you'll jump through. You'll place one on the ceiling over there, where the three dots are. You can see, because this one's labelled Platform 2, this one's labelled Platform 3. That one up there is labelled Platform 4, and that's so that you don't get lost. It's very, very cool. Very, very handy. Um, place Blue Portal up here. Jump down, place Orange underneath you. And press this button. These are turrets. Turrets are the worst. So, what you're going to want to do, make sure that you have a blue portal here. Walk through, press this button. This opens up. Now, you want that camera. You don't want to quickly grab the camera. You want to walk up, press orange, jump through. Okay? This is how you have the camera. And then, by the way, if the camera's not like this, not in this state, where it's like looking at you as if it was on the wall, um, chances are you're going to struggle with this. Because you got to walk to the door and move it down until that happens, as if it's like kind of semi-leaning on the door. Okay? Leave blue here. In fact, no, sorry. Don't leave blue here. Place it up here, but out of the way to the side is probably better. Jump down and try not to hit the button if you can help it. Place blue here. Do you mind? Place blue here. Now, as you see, if I step on the button just for a second, like just walk forwards, the camera will jam the door open. Now, you've got to be quick going down here because if you're not fast enough, Whoa, I only just made it. That took a while. I only just made it. If you're not fast enough, the door will shut and then the camera's stuck on the other side of the door. You have to reset. So you're going to go quick, jump down, place orange, and then you can see the white platform at the top. Oh, see? Luckily we had the camera that time, but it's always best to just save platforms on the top. You saw it there. That was the easy way to do it. See that time the camera went in. Place the other portal. And um, by the way you always know which portal you've placed because if I press left click you will see the circle on my uh, cursor um, beyond the blue portal. Whereas if I press orange you'll see it fade over to the right side and be orange. That's how you always know which portal you have placed last. So you'll place the opposite one here jump on through. Skip to solid chunk. Now you'll see these platforms. Place one here. You'll jump down. Up. One there. One here. Whoop. One there. One here. Whoop. One there. One here. Whoop. Then on that slanted one for the last one. And it's, just, it's that easy. Uh, fun fact, this is like the other one where you've got a lot of time to just go out and do what you want. Whee. Electrical safety seminar. Then you jump to the thing and it will go down. Okay. This is the long awaited chamber 19. Then remember, save 19. This is the last chamber. Or is it? It's not. Uh, fun fact. So how a lot of people do chamber 19 is they'll put blue over here, they'll peek through, and they'll either do this, which I don't like because of that, They'll either do that. They'll do the portal. Who? I can't not do a portal peek. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I, I hate that. They'll do the thing where they stick to the side. 
Um, or you could do it the Chad way. Now the Chad way, I need to actually just double check something. Hold up. Because I asked the port speed in group if it's a glitch or if it works. Uh, okay, the spider man move is not glitch. Okay, so this is fine. So I had to do a little bit of research there. And so you'll place blue up here, place orange down here, and you'll just walk through, and as soon as you're through the portal, press crouch, okay? And you'll end up landing on here. Um, unfortunately, if you do press crouch too early, uh, if I can mess up, please, it would be nice. I've got the muscle memory timed. Okay. So basically, you'll see yourself just jump, like, basically that bounce off here, and it's horrible when it happens, but okay. But if that happens, you just turn around, and you try again. Okay, whichever port is above you, just put it to the side, get it out of the way. Now, you see this line here, you're going to want to place blue here, okay? Then you'll walk up to the line place orange here. Make sure to save. Saving up here is useful. And then you edge to the right until aha, you are stood up. Now, unfortunately, no, fortunately, uh, this creates quite a unique position where your head, top of your body, is through so you can shoot portals. However, the main part of your body, which is the lower half, is in here. So you can shoot this orange portal and you'll become Spider-Man. <laughs> one there, one there, one there, one there. Now, I understand it can get a bit awkward, but as somebody that uh, doesn't know what they're doing, So this is the room. This is the room. If I move over to this side of the room, uh, I am up there. I am where the blue pool is. Okay. Oh, it's it's really weird. Um, and it, the camera's gonna feel really, really, really strange. Okay. But basically, you're gonna want to put one on the back wall next to the piston. Look to the right. This one underneath the door. Look to the left. It, it looks like it's up, but your mouse movement is you look to the left, so you're above this little white platform. Place orange. And then you move your mouse up. Place orange. Um, if you place it too low, this will be in the way, and it's a pain. You then look straight up, and then try to angle your camera around so you can just make it through that gap. And then, you jump. That's all you gotta do. And you've got it. You put a portal there, underneath you. We. Okay. Place one above the door there, on the wall. Turn around. Place one through there, on the wall. Open the door. Now you're you're gonna want to shoot one through the fan. Shoot one on this wall. Make no further attempt to leave the testing area. Shoot one against that wall. Fall down. And then up in this pipe somewhere, you'll see it light up. You just want to shoot a portal there. Shoot a portal underneath you. And then you'll realize you're at this pipe. You can just jump in. That's a really, really easy one. Now you can actually bunny hop through here. To make it a bit faster.
you don't want to hit that edge. You kind of just want to fall straight through. Now, oh, this chamber looks a little bit familiar. I remember this chamber. Except we now have the two portal guns, because that was up there. We now have the two portal guns, so we can just shoot a portal on this side of the wall. Is always the best side. And then you jump and use forwards momentum. And you can just keep that going. And jump straight down. Instantly place a portal underneath you when you're down here. And then you'll see this big white platform. And we're going to put it as far to the bottom of that platform as you can. Okay. Then press crouch. 180. And hop through. Now, I know a lot of people have issues making this shot. Because... What you have to do is you basically have to get on top of this pipe, walk on top of there and shoot. However, you can actually just make that shot by jumping and getting it eventually. So you see a tiny little bit of white. Now I have a lineup for this and the lineup is really simple. So you go down these stairs, okay, now you see this metal girder and this little wall here. So you'll walk forwards until you're stuck. like. It won't walk forwards anymore. Like you're not stuck, you can still move, but you walk forwards until you're not walking forwards anymore. Okay? You then press jump and you tap W. The littlest amount of W tap, the better, because it's gonna give you more of a area. Now I think I yeah, I can actually shoot it without jumping. So when I jump you'll actually see the white grid that you can shoot at and it is huge. Like missing that is is going to be incredible. Then you walk under here, jump through that portal. It's blue, orange, and straight round. Yes, that was chamber 19. This is E O O. Okay, so load E O O. Okay. I right, save E O O. Sorry. This has these pistons, which are really annoying. You want to place blue here, place blue on the wall, and then walk through. Place blue. I'm going to die because I can't, I didn't do it fast enough. Yeah, basically 180, and then to the right of that grid, you're going to want to place blue. Then to the wall to the left, place orange. Wait for this to move. You'll you'll be doing it quicker before that even gets here. Then you'll shoot blue and walk backwards. Wee doing, boing, boing. Now, ideally, you kind of want to get onto there. If you can get on there in the first cycle, and um, basically try to shoot one up there. That's the best way to do it. Um, however, oh, I need to get to see it one more time then. Um, you'll come down to this left side and look up so you'll see the two moving pistons here. You'll place blue as far as far up there as you can. And then you'll hop onto one of these pistons. Place orange, place orange, and you'll actually just cycle up to here. To here, you place blue here, orange here, then you'll edge through here. Okay. Look that way, place orange, turn around, walk through, place blue up there, you can shoot through the pipes. Uh, see? You place blue there, turn around, so you're barely walking through here. Place blue, walk backwards. Don't place it too far that way, so you'll fall down. You just want to place it here. Okay? That's the main cluster. Now you're going to want to go to where this pipe is, and you want to press crouch. Follow the pipe along, and place blue there. Okay. Remember to save. Saving here is always a good idea. Then you'll look below you, jump and place orange, and hold crouch. That way you'll make it to here, and it will make this chamber infinitely easier, because this pipe isn't moving. You have not hit the trigger. As simple as that. So you don't have to worry about uh, trying to time it or anything. You just place portal here. We place portal here, and you can just hop on down. It's that simple. 
I'm aiming that way because I didn't use the APH. Um, so now it's save E01. We'll hop over to here. Once you pass uh, the triggers here, once you pass that, actually it might be easier to do there. Nah, I don't care enough. Okay, so once you basically pass the middle one, you're going to want to either strafe this way, or what I do on glitchless is I portal a portal underneath me. Now, I've been asked this question before. How do you open these doors? Because you need to go through this one, but it's the last one that opens. And these turrets are not very kind. So how do you open the doors? Uh, the answer to that question is thankfully rather simple. You walk into the left of it, and it will open the door. Blue, blue. You can kill this turret, but once you get faster, you won't need to. And then where the claw is, the top right, all you gotta do is place a ball up there, ball on the wall, and you fall through. Ideally, you kinda wanna land on there, but uh, you can't do it if you go through a wall portal onto the floor. You can if you do that though. Okay, so you'll save, jump across, and you'll place blue here. This is for a little fling I've got. Um, try your best. I save here all the time because I don't want to kill that turret. Okay? I would like to keep him. Now I place orange next to him and just be on this left side. Aim. So you'll see this. Hang on. Geez. You see the edge here? Like if I walk forwards, I'm going to fall off kind of edge. Um, you're going to want to stand here. How do we do that? Hold on. Yeah, you can. Okay. And there. Um, a little bit further up. You're going to want to press blue and fall th and press right. So you portal peak. And then, as you see, I've got downwards momentum. So, blue underneath, orange, and then you do a 180 turn. Okay? 180 strafe while holding D, and you will land on here. It might take a little bit of practice, but you'll get there. Now, unfortunately, with where I've set up my blue portal placement, if I place blue here, there's a chance something will fall out of it. Now, that's an issue with the turret, because it, it can knock over the turret. That turret is easily knock overable. So I walk over here, and I place the portal there. Now don't worry, if the turret is dead, it's not the end of the world. Okay? I'm going to place orange here. I'll show you how to do it. That'll do, actually. You'll walk through, and you'll let him basically shoot. Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Okay. And then you can walk through. Shoot here. Shoot next to you. Okay. Let me rewind. Oh, well, you're dead. So, if, say, miraculously, you don't have the turret, okay? Something happened to it, it died or whatever. Then you have to press this button. You have to wait a while. Wait for it to go. What are? Walk into the blue laser. It will destroy the glass. Then walk over to here. Walk to the blue laser. It will destroy the glass. What we do with the turret is we grab it. We face plant. It's a bit foggy walky. Okay. But we take it, we place it here, we don't knock it over, and we open this door as soon as we can, and we let it shoot through. Place a portal here, place a portal here, place a portal there, and walk through. Don't get killed. Okay. That sets you up in the perfect possible way, because now, you open this, you press orange, get him to shoot you, and boom, he destroys that class there. 
and place blue up there. Mainly just to get out of the way. But I'll explain why there in a second. Okay. Over here, you've got to put blue here. There are different ways to do this. Um, one of them includes chair. And if you like chair, um, I am no longer your friend. You're not allowed to be watching this video. You need to turn around because chair is awful. But I'll show you anyway. I, I want to make it clear, I do not recommend this strategy to anybody. In fact, eh, fuck the chair. This is going to suck to start with, but once you get the hang of it, you'll get it every time. It's one of those kind of things, okay? So you place blue, top right here, because you've got to get into this vent, okay? So you look over here. You press W, jump and crouch, okay? So you're crouching mid-air and that will help you get through this portal so much. You want to get through the bottom of this orange portal. If you get through the bottom with forward momentum, you'll fly up and you'll get into the vent, okay? Um, some people prefer to place it and then jump into the bottom. Um, I'm not one of those people. Um, I prefer doing placing it mid jump that's because uh, muscle memory has helped me out a lot now here comes the kicker you can get the height but can you make it in you have to strafe to the left um, just at the right time if you strafe too early uh, if you strafe too early you'll hit this side by you here and it sucks you will not make it and it's really really frustrating if you strafe too late uh, naturally you just want to make it in so you have to jump through I, press, I hold W all the way that's just a personal thing but I hold W and then I press A and I look to the left um, literally as I'm about to pass this corner That's how I do it. You then jump through here, try to bunny hop because bunny hopping is faster. Place the portal underneath that fan. Place the other portal here. Hop through. You can you can do you can do it this way and you can hop out and place your portal. What I like to do is I like to place blue and walk back. Walk through, place blue, walk back, and boom. This is the last section. Save. E O two. This is the final chamber. This is where all of the beans are. When this is the end, and it hurts. So how I get around this corner? Because people do this and then they'll path over to here. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, try your best to not do that. What you're going to want to do is place the portal here. Place the portal next to you. Okay, you always want to do the second because I walk through this portal, walk here, and then the portal that I placed over there, in which case it's orange, I place here and walk back. Once you get the hang of that, it honestly becomes second nature. It becomes second nature. The boy is missing it. Okay, it becomes second nature. It makes it so fast. You want to be on this side of the square. So for those of you who don't know where we are, just come over to here. This side of the square, and hang on, let me just put a pull on this side real quick. So we're down there somewhere. Um, we're trying to get the portal up here. Okay, as you can see, above it is a unportalable surface. So we go to the top until we can't see the portal thing anymore. Then we move down and place blue. You'll get the hang of it with muscle memory, so you won't have to do the setup, but that's what I do. Okay, then I place orange here. Now, I quite simply just walk through and I place blue on the top of this square. Okay? Let me just.
I'm going to place orange down there. So that you can see. Okay. The orange portal is slightly askew. Okay. Because what should be there is a surface that tilts upwards and it shows a toy underneath it. However, it's not moved upwards yet. Uh, this does not count as a glitch, by the way. So you walk forwards. If you place it on the bottom, uh, you'll find that it's, you know, it's flat. Whoops. But if you do it on the top, you will find that you're angled up in the air. So how I do it is I just press W, and as soon as I'm through, I shoot there, and then I shoot one underneath me. Try to make it so that you actually land through a portal though. Once you're we're in the air, you're gonna to want to place one on that surface. Oh, whoops. Once you're in the air, yeah. You're gonna to wanna to place one on this surface here. It doesn't matter how you get down now, you just wanna get down as quickly as you can because the toy doors are opening and they suck. But you're gonna to wanna to go up here. For the love of God, whatever you do, don't go back there. Because, okay, this is what happens if you go back there. You go, hey, hey, ho, let's have a look over here. Oh, no, it's death. Okay, don't go that way. What you're going to want to do instead is... I'm going to move this. I nearly fucking went through it. And you have this line here. You're going to want to place blue so that the side of it is barely touching that line. Okay. And now I hop down here. We Place orange underneath me. And then I just press A. I don't have to do anything else. If you press A to wheel, you'll hit the bottom of the bridge. You don't want that. But I press A to go scooch over. Now I know a lot of people that actually know what they're doing are probably watching this and saying, oh, you can't do this thing that you're about to do because it's uh, glitches. And no, I'm not doing that. That's just my preferred setup. So you go along the catwalk, you walk through this door, instantly put a portal here, then put an orange portal here, walk through, place orange, walk through. Okay? So you don't really have to move your camera all too much here. It's literally there, here, there, and walk through. Come to this door. You can alternatively just hop around. For those of you that don't know, that those few portals, the catwalk is just through here. See? Those two portals sped this section up. Okay. Then you hop through here. And um, what I like to do is I like to put a portal here, a portal there, and hop through because it's just faster. And then boom, GLaDOS. The last fight. This is where everything's come from. Put one up there, put one underneath you, and land on top of here, and just edge yourself off the side where the incinerator is, and then press A, because you want to be here. Place one up there, press this button, place one underneath that core, and it will bring it into the incinerator. Now, she's going to go on a, like a minute spiel of, of something, and... Uh, something's going to hop off over here and that's going to try to kill you you're going to want to place blue there there we go so it's slightly in the light that's the best way to do it as you see, if a rocket goes through here it's going to hit GLaDOS and that's how we get the cores off of her so a goon will spawn here, and it's the rocket dickwad. It's going to shoot at you. You get out of the way. It's over there, okay. So place it next to the pipes. Place it here. Hop over to here. Dink, dink. One here. Press the button. Why is that not working? There you go. 
there are much better ways to do this. I suck at the GLaDOS strats because well, I don't really run it. But I know that my strats are a little bit, a little bit better than some people's. There we go. That goes. Okay, that goes on top of there. That's the confusing section. Place the portal up here, and then jump, press orange, and hold crouch. You'll make it up onto this section every time. Okay. Place the portal over to the black area here. Place that. Press the button. Place blue through. It will fall into the incinerator. Walk over here. Place blue. Boom. Then that one goes there. Best way to do this is probably to place blue here. Jump, crouch, and grab it. And what I like to do. Oh, you're going to watch me do it again. Which sucks. But you can Goomba Stomp it as well. You'll see me Goomba Stomp it this next time. Oh. Hello, everybody. Yeah, you'll see me Goomba Stomp it. I think I might have went through this a, bit, a little bit too fast anyway, so it's it's good that you have to watch it again. Where? Right here. There. There, here, full. Oh, camera went a bit messy, messy there. Hey, GLaDOS. Does that happen? Who chose this path? Surprise for you. Deploy the surprise button. Portal. Wee. Remember, as you're walking past here, I'm going to move that. Look that there. I'm doing that so you can see this perspective. Place orange here. In line with this, so it's not askew. No one cares, Gladys. Center the deadly new attacks in. Oh, big tutorial. Okay. Up here. Whoops. Oh god, I hate everything. There we go. Now it's through. You place one up here. This one here. Grab. Eh. Up there, under the core. We place it there. Then up on the platform, jump, orange crouch. You kind of want it to be as close to the incinerator as, you, as it will get. Uh, here. Shut up, Gladys. Yeah, I suck at this. I am uh, unfortunately not the best person. You can definitely look up a better Gladys guide. Uh, up here. If you want to do this, you can put it as far up as you can. 
and Goomba stomp it. the button, one there, one there, and that is the Gladys fight. It's a little bit different, this is why I don't like Glitchless, it's the sole reason I don't win Glitchless, because the Glados fight is awful, and I absolutely hate it. It's so demoralising. How I do the Glados fight. Is a little bit different because I do a I do a glitch naturally. Well, uh, now I'm stuck. I've soft on myself. Yay! Uh, load AG. I, I do a, I do a glitch, which I'm a bit out of practice with. Oi. Now you saw how bad I was at that uh, entire last section. And yeah, I can pull off stuff like this. And it's really, really cool. But this is what I like. I go, hey GLaDOS, I've got a machine gun. <laughs> and then place it on to the side and just shoot all of the cores off of her. And now you can collect them one by one. And then I glitch it here. Okay. And that's why I prefer that, because the GLaDOS fight ordinarily is just a pain in B, and I prefer to do that. <laughs> if you would like me to do a NOSA tutorial, I will more than happily upload a NOSA tutorial for you guys. It's so much fun, and I will catch you later. If you did enjoy what you saw, you're more than welcome to come check me out on Twitch. Um, Bunches Rex, I'll probably put something into the description, and I will catch you later. Have a great day.